Hello class, this is Philip Gray. This is uh, the video blog on Future of Counseling, wrapping up and talking about what we've learned um, these last eight weeks. And uh, the, the biggest takeaway I could say, as I learned, was the topic of wellness and impairment. And it really makes sense because it is very important to be able to be a competent uh, professional counselor. And if we are in the impairment stage, which is not at your optimal maximum potential, and if you are in that counseling session impaired, you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting the actual client it's kind of like ministry if you're not you know completely developed and you're not well then you can actually lead some astray so that was one big takeaway that um i received throughout this class and um actually it was awesome to to know all that and be able to apply it to my life and be able to you know make sure I'm checking in with myself um, making sure I am in the wellness category so and then be aware of all the symptoms that go along with with the impairment so that I'm not bringing any harm into any type of counseling sessions and uh, and also being aware of the main important aspect of counseling is the, the therapeutic relationship. And the best way to use therapy re relationship is through empathy, being open and uh, available for um, the client. And I think if we would think of um, the actual like humbleness of counseling it would be so prideful to even attempt to counsel somebody without empathy and without being well enough to do so. So being a competent counselor is uh, you know, making sure you're aware of yourself, aware of your uh, surroundings, and uh, aware of the, the client as well. So yeah, I learned a lot. It was awesome. All right. Well, have a great day.